In this video, we're going to be going over using Autodesk Inventor for the first time, whether you're going to be launching it through VLab or if you're going to be downloading it for the first time on um, your local computer. You can find access to these slides in the description below, or you can just watch uh, them in the window in the bottom left corner of the screen. So we're going to get started using VLab. Now, if you don't know, VLab is a virtual desktop that George Tech uses, um, and you can as a student, you can use it if you don't have a Windows computer to launch applications that require Windows, like Inventor. So we're going to start by going to the Citrix website. And um, you can go ahead and go to mycloud.godtech.edu and log in with your basic uh, Georgia Tech login. And of course, you'll be prompted for authentication. And now you'll be able to go to the desktops tab and you'll see COE 2020. So you can go ahead and open that. And then here you can see that Autodesk Inventor is already installed and all you have to do is open it up. And I'll show you what the beginning um, opening up looks like so that you know that you're doing things right. Something to note here is that we're on VLab, we're using Autodesk 2020. Whereas if you're gonna download it, we're gonna use the most recent version, which is 2021. And you'll see that this is the opening screen. If you're doing it for the first time, um, there'll be a button for start learning or start working, and you can go ahead and click start working. Um, otherwise, it'll lead you to a, tor a tutorial, um, but we're gonna be doing our best to teach you how to use Inventor with these videos. So if you're done using VLab, you can go ahead. Oh, I closed out. You can go ahead and go to the small windows uh, and click disconnect. And it'll return you back here. Now, if you want to install Inventor, then what we're going to do is we're going to find um, the education version. So if you go ahead and just look at Autodesk Inventor education, then you'll be able to look at um, the first actual link um, as opposed to the add link. So if you don't have already have an account, um, then go ahead and make one. Let's see here. I need to sign in. Oh, I'm already signed in. I like to make mine with my God Tech email, but I don't believe it's necessary. Um, so we're going to go ahead and sign in. And all I have to do is click 2021. And then if you're on Windows, then this should be the only option. And then as soon as you pick your language, it will go ahead and send you a confirmation and then your installation license. And once you have that installation license, then you should be able to go through the entire download. Now, keep in mind that Inventor itself is pretty big, so you'll need to allow several hours to install it. Um, but once it's all done, then you don't have to worry about installing anything until the next year. And so in a different video, we'll be giving you an introduction to Inventor. Uh, and I'll go ahead and open it up just so you can see uh, how it looks in case you skipped straight to the installation of Inventor. And as I said before, you will likely see a start learning and start working button and you'll go ahead and click start working. And there you have it. This is how to launch Inventor for the first time.